So I have created a very simple function module, a function group called ZWeb Analytics, and it's got two function modules. We're going to use this function group, both these function modules, as our uh, in our SAP Gateway OData service. Let's quickly take a look at the first one. There's a function module. Look at the attributes. It's a remote enabled function mod module. It means uh, uh, it's, uh, anyone can access it remotely. Outside systems can access it remotely. Import as in the data that will be supplied into the function module. So everything is a character. Uh, it's always safe to do characters because outside systems may not recognize the SAP data types. Uh, and export will be a result string. Very simple. Let's look at the. We don't have any changing tables or exceptions. Uh, and then these are obsolete, kind of obsolete tables. It's kind of obsolete anyway. Now look at the source code. We defined a, the uh, global structure. And type is ZWeb Analytics, which is actually the table. We are going to is a transparent table. We're going to fill this table, and so line number is a unique key. Every uh, every combination of these three data uh, will it be uniquely identified by this line because these three may not be unique. Same user can be using the same URL at the same time from two different browsers, you know, theoretically. So we have a, to uniquely identify you have this line number. Uh, client, don't worry about it. This is uh, SC80, SC, uh, the client is, client is 800, system is, this is system, this is system, this is client. This is not in our control. So uh, this is a client uh, dependent data table. We'll, talk about it later uh, let's look at this uh, this is a table go back and this is a structure this is a table st standard table of it's the same way standard table table same thing now what we're doing is select anything from the table the, from the database table into the internal table right and then SYDBCNT, it's a system field. We don't set it. SAP sets it in the background. System database count. And that means how many records have you selected in this select statement? That is the number of elements already there in this table. And that's, uh, that's, our, that's our line number. Uh, if it's zero, line number is zero. Starts with zero. Now, uh, we just uh, fill the structure, GS, global structure, right, with the supplied data. These are the supplied data in the import section, right? We supplied this data. We supply this data, and we use the modify statement to pass this data into the table. Use modify because... If the data exists, it will just overwrite it. If size of birth equal to zero means that operation, the modify operation is successful, you'll have a success. Oh, I like to write my name everywhere. So let me put, huh. And now this is for the put or post operation. And the get. Well, the get, we're not going to get anything, okay? Uh, we need the get service for various reasons. We also need to implement a get service. So, same import, same export, whatever. The source code does nothing, just... Uh, we don't even need this part. Comment up. Just result string. Whatever. So, we going to save this and then we're going to activate it this is the best way to activate always activate the function group
Now, now we're going to create, we're going to transaction called Segway, S-E-G-W, create project oh, Zebra is test, okay, description, testing all data, uh, and package is always $TNP, means that's a local object. These are default. Alrighty, now as a data model, we're going to import. So data model is just, there's, there's no code in it. It'll just define what is input to the ODATA service, what goes out, all that data structure. Fortunately, we're lucky that uh, it can use the same import export we defined. You can just use that. You don't need to write it. So, name. We we'll just give any name. You know, web analytics. Uh, target is local. Type is a remote function call. So this is a function module, but since we define as a remote enable, it becomes remote function module RFC. And the name. That's the name. Next. Made all of these and and we need to define one of them as a key. Well, we just uh, remember in our actual table in the uh, Z analytics table, not here. And here the key is a we create a key right line number is a key every time you write before you write you increment the line number uh, well this is not a very solid thing what if this function module executes ex exactly same time I don't know can there be a race condition conflict I don't know but anyway here we don't have uh, import and export doesn't have the line number line number is done internally so we cannot write line number as a key. So we decided timestamp is a key. Doesn't really matter in our case. Boom, done. So entity type has been created. Now we generate the runtime. These are design time objects, right? Uh, property, we don't, like these are the properties. Uh, there's no navigation properties. We haven't defined it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Either dollar TMP or click a local object. Same thing. There's something I forgot to do is I forgot to create a entity set. So we name the entity set. Same. We already created the entity type. We create the set from that type. Ready? Yes. Now, uh, it's all good. Now we generate the runtime objects. Well, so far we just generated an empty shell. Out, outbound and what is input, output. No, no. We need to define how these operations create, update, read, CRUD, CRUD queue operations will happen. We just need read and create, okay? So how? You're going to map something already there. Ta target is local, okay? Because our remotes are, even though it's a remote system call, uh, it is defined inside the same, same, same system. We didn't define it inside another system, right? It's remote because others can, outsiders can call it. For us, it's local. So create is, this is the create. We created this create. Look at the magic. It understands what's inbound, what's outbound, okay? Timestamp is a key. Look at the key here. We propose a mapping. Uh, 
result string okay for some reason the result string didn't come uh, so when you read it again is the one for read okay for get read is get let's see propose the mapping that means we will enter timestamp we'll get a result string it's fine it doesn't really matter if you want you can put these two alrighty then we run when we do this again we re regenerate the runtime artifacts that means all these classes uh initially when you generated those classes it has only what is in input or is output when you define actual mapping these classes actually call this function module they actually call this function module just created inside the class but anyway thankfully we don't have to worry about any of that okay now we go to we'll go to Oh, you know, register the service. All right, service name. It's all good. Standard, standard mode, none. Okay, that's all default. Okay, information local object. Sorry, it's our local object. Boom, done. Now we're gonna go to another transaction. Maintain this service after register. You maintain this. Okay, we activate the ICF node. Um, now, this is our service. Uh, then we go to the gateway client. Take gateway client is just like imagine it's a, it's a you're, you're using a browser to call this service instead of using a browser. SAP gives a client. This is a client. The service is in a server. So this is our service. Let's execute a get. Allow, allow, allow. Okay, we got a status value. Okay, awesome. Uh, so the client, you have up to the, this is the name of our service, right? So we go to entity set, define the entity set. This is entity set. And we say, get me the third one. Three is a key. Choose our, our key is timestamp. We just randomly pick, pick timestamp as our key. We execute. So see, we put timestamp three. We didn't put anything here, but that was a key. Anyway, so we will use this as a request. And then we'll put, uh, actually, we're going to save this and get whatever we did. You know, who knows? We might need it. Test group, the Boras test. You know what? We'll use an existing test group. Oh, no value found. Let's see. There's an existing test group. All right. So we put, okay, whatever. We made a test group. Okay, now we're gonna make a use this request. Boom. Oh, oh. Well, I just copied from somewhere else. It's cheap. 